Hi, my name is Mary. Today FM plays the best music in Lambasa. Today FM rocks. My name is Thomas. I'm here in Nakasi and I like to listen to Today FM because it's rocks. And my name is Milinia. Today FM rocks here in Singatoka. My name is Alkripi and Today FM rocks here in Tawa. My name is Mary Jane. I love listening to Today FM here in Bath. Today FM rocks. My name is Ilay Tiambal and I love listening to Today FM. Today FM rocks here in Osur. Today's hit music on Today FM. In the news tonight, SDA Church maintains decision ministry still hopeful. Minister concerned with e-transport card abuse. And Fiji's largest mosque opens in Saweni. From the studios of FBC Suba, Amrita Sagar. The Education Ministry is hopeful the Seventh-day Adventist Church will change its decision on the closure of its college in the Kaundrove Vanwalebu. The SDA Church revealed last Friday that it will be closing down the Vatuvonu SDA College because it wants an all-Adventist staff at the school. Currently, none of the staff are Seventh-day Adventist. Education Minister Rosie Akbar says they still hope the church will change its decision in the best interests of the 178 students 21 teachers and the community which is served by the college. However, she says should the church maintain its stand, the ministry is preparing to support parents find alternative schools for their children and teachers to be transferred to new posts. The minister met the representatives of SDA Fiji Mission in Suva last Friday to discuss the church's decision. Agbar says while the meeting was constructive, the church maintained its decision. But the Wono Adventist College will close at the end of Term 1. Concerns have been raised that a lot of students are abusing their e-transport cards. Minister for Economy Ayas said Kayum says taxpayers lose money when these cards are abused. The minister adds that subsidized cards are meant for those students who come from families who earn less than $16,000 annually. Well, I've heard some stories where they're actually going to sell their card and get money for it. We've also heard that uh, there are some people who actually give it to their parents. And the parents are here, please, those cards are actually not for you. It's for your children who are students. Fiji's largest mosque, which can cater for more than 4,000 people, has opened in Saweni, Lotoka. The three-story mosque, which cost around $1.5 million to construct, has been built at a strategic location to cater for poor families. The masjid will cater for worshippers who cannot travel far for prayers, says organizing committee member Nasir Khan. Khan says the masjid in Saweni before used to be a shed only, which fit around seven people. He says with the increase in population, they decided to build the largest masjid in Fiji. Non-communicable diseases will be a major problem by 2030, irrespective of where you live. Health Minister Dr. Ifremi Mwainabete says the increase in NCDs is not peculiar to Fiji, as this was clearly outlined during the World Health Organization meeting last year. Dr. Wain Ambete says despite the small increase noted during a health ministry's 10-year survey, it can be classed as a major increase when compared to previous decades. He adds while the government is working hard to reduce the disease, it's also the responsibility of individuals to live a healthy life. So when you see the graph, the graph has been climbing, we seem to think that we are plateauing. And that's what we hope, that we just curve the graph. And as I said earlier, this is a worldwide problem. A huge crowd turned up at the FMF gymnasium last night to witness magical acts and modern techniques of magi magician Mangal. Mangal and his son Yuvraj Mangal are part of a troupe from India who will be performing around the country over the next few weeks. Some of the acts, including cutting a person in half and vanishing act, over the last 34 years, Mangal has performed more than 300 magic shows in Fiji. The group will perform again at the FMF Gymnasium tonight and will be moving to the Western Division from tomorrow. Recapping the main stories, SDA Church maintains decision, ministry still hopeful. Minister concerned with e-transport card abuse and Fiji's largest mosque opens in Saweni. For these stories and others, you can tune in daily to our sister radio station, Gold FM, to our poll question segment. This week, we're asking, should people stop making hateful and racist comments on social media? You can visit our FBC website to answer. Do send us newsworthy pictures and videos on email fbcnews at fbc.com.fj or share it with us for our Facebook page, FBC News. You can also follow and tweet us your news tips at FBC News or simply hashtag FBC News. 
And that was the FPC News for tonight from the team and I. Stay safe and good night. Dola, I am Eleanor. For the best classic kids, I only listen to Gold FM here in Singapore. Gold FM, only the classic kids. My name is Jenny Rawa. I love listening to Gold FM here in Osuri. Gold FM, only the classic kids. My name is Dino. I'm from Africa, Coroco, Singapore. I love listening to Gold FM, only the classic kids. My name is Salote. I love listening to Gold FM here in Osuri. Gold FM, only the classic kids. Bula, my name is Marida. Gold FM plays the best classics here in Altiga Singatoka. Gold FM, only the classic hits.